please decelerate. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Uh, this was not included in the launch video. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome to Wrong Way. And today we're going to talk about the newly released Kingsong KSS18, the all new 18 inch wheel with suspension from Kingsong. So let me tell you more about it. Wrong way. First of all, also a huge shout out and a big thank you to Jack at Kingsong who helped me with the footage of this new unicycle and, and was the contact person regarding all the specs and data regarding the new wheel. So it's really nice to see a company reach out to creators to help um, to help them get the best information about the new product that is coming up in a company and here it is Kingsong. So huge thank you Jack. Moving on, everything is written down on this piece of paper. We are just a couple days after, nearly a week after the launch of the Emotion V11 and already we have a second electric unicycle um, with suspension announced that should be coming this summer. So first up let's talk about the tire. It is a 18 by 3 inch wide tire so exactly like on the MSP and on the Emotion V11. So it's a huge thick rubber which absorbs the bumps really well and it's actually a bigger rubber than on the Kingsong 18X. So this is also interesting. When it comes to the thread, as far as it goes for the pictures, it seemed to be very similar to the Kingsong 18XL, so mostly a city-focused uh, thread. Maybe it will be a CST tire in the end, maybe it'll be more focused for off-road or maybe more for the city. I don't know, I would definitely would like to see a thick like thread, a really aggressive thread tire on this unicycle because I think it will be awesome to rip off-road. Uh, moving on, when it comes to the power, it's very similar to the uh, Kingsong 16X, I think it might be the same engine, uh, 2200 watts nominal power and just a 84 volt wheel. Still no 100 volts uh, for, from the competition, makes me a bit sad because uh, Galway already produced wheels which have a smaller battery capacity but still 100 volts. This makes them really quick and really fun to drive. A lower voltage will give you a bigger range. So moving on to the performance, um, nothing spectacular, 50 kilometers per hour and we don't know how much it will like throttle over time because the battery here is way smaller than on the Kingsong 18XL and from my friends I know that the KS18L so like the smaller brother of the XL uh, can have cutoffs like when accelerating really hard so yeah I think this will be something that will be that, that we will have to find out when the wheel uh, is like fully launched and available and when it comes to steepness of a climb 40 degrees um, should be uh, uh, reachable now this is really steep and even on the Galway MSP it was hard to do that but I guess it's possible we will find out when it comes to the battery Sadly, it is quite small in comparison to other wheels at this price point, and I'll tell you the price later. Um, it's just 1110 watt hours, 84 volt system, and it charges in six hours from zero to 100%. Now on the um, marketing pages, and they they, they're telling you about the range of 100 kilometers. Uh, I, I think it will be hard to reach with like regular speeds. With like regular speeds we all use day to day, we more like 50, 60 kilometers. Yeah, it will also depend on how it's set up, if it's set up for acceleration, top speed, and of course, how you ride and with the rider, blah, 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 blah. I think the range will be just a tad higher than on a Inmotion V10F or a Gawai Tesla. Uh, moving on to suspension and the suspension is a pretty interesting part because it's a different design than on the Inmotion V11. Now there are already some videos on the internet where we can see like prototypes of the V11 and of the uh, S18 running around and I can tell you that the Inmotion actually looks to have a way way bigger travel than uh, than the uh, S18. So it should be around like 70 millimeters off on the Inmotion 
v11 and already by the looks of it how it's going downstairs and how it eats up bumps it it looks to be like a, a way bigger travel than the Kingsong S18. Uh, the S18 has a linkage, like link sub suspension and a single damper. Now I saw like two versions of this damper. Once I saw the Fox damper and once the DNM damper. And I think finally in the final version, it will be the DNM version because it's like way cheaper. And honestly, I don't know if you would feel much of a difference in the setup. But uh, as far as it it comes uh, as far as it comes to the, like travel and behavior I think it will be stiffer than the V11 maybe for good maybe for bad I don't know but exciting second wheel with suspension so uh, moving on the, the weight will be 22 kilograms so this will be a way lighter wheel than the Inmotion V11 uh, five kilograms actually the weight will be similar to a Kingsong 18L so it's pretty impressive how they could pull off the same weight with added suspension and I think that all in all like the shell construction and uh, like how it's designed will be also really robust. When it comes to features, uh, front lighting, rear lighting and there's no like long marketing story to the lighting. I think it will be maybe a bit worse than on the Inmotion V11 but very like usual as it far as it goes for the like, whole spectrum of unicycles. Now no like particular info about the looks count or lumen count or wattage of these lights for but I think they will be just fine. Yeah, it has a trolley handle and you can see it in this picture right here. It's in the middle, centered, looks really promising, really good, maybe even better than on the InMotion V11. But uh, yeah, King Song has a very high trolley handle standard, so this is really good. Now a thing that I was actually surprised to hear or that I will not hear on the wheel is the lack of speakers. So I asked Jack about the speakers and no, there will be no speakers on the Kingsong S18, which makes me really sad. And it's sort of funny because people were complaining, like some of the people were complaining that the Gotway MSX has no speakers and they added these speakers to the Gotway MSP and nobody was complaining that the V10 and the Kingsong 18XL or 18L had speakers. And then they removed it both in the V11 and in the uh, Kingsong S18. Probably to keep uh, weight down, maybe to make it like easier as far as, as it goes for production or to keep the counts down. But still, I always like speakers in uh, electric unicycles. Even if I don't use them day by day, that's just really a good, good feature. And yeah, no scooter has it pretty much. And I really like that about the electric unicycles. Uh, moving on, uh, when it comes to the design, oh my god, it looks so, 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 so good. And this is also like why I am why I am so excited about this wheel because the V11 looks like uh, this is something different. But oh my god, the 18, uh, the S18 looks so sexy. I mean, come on, the suspension just sticking out. You can see like all the welds and how this suspension works and all in all the shape is really awesome. It's like this white and black uh, rubber. This looks really cool. I can see some inspiration on the 16X, but uh, the 16X uh, always looked a bit like um, round, bubbly. And this looks aggressive and exciting and this is really, really cool. And the design is what speaks to a lot of people. And so yeah, I gotta say, I'm just excited for the design as, as it is for the ride. And this is like why I am excited, more excited about this wheel than the Inmotion V11. But I'm also excited about the V11, so let's not. I uh, like get that. When it comes to design, it also has like new uh, foot plates. They they look a bit more like aggressive. They will, they will be probably really nice, and uh, they are also high off the ground. So this will be good for off roading. And uh, last but not least, the price will be two thousand dollars. And yes, it is a lot for a wheel with this performance. Um, probably if you are just going for range, just get a Tesla V2 or a Motion V10. I think the, the range difference will not be like so huge between these wheels, but it is very exciting. It looks really awesome. And of course we have to first ride it to judge really how much it is worth because 
very few people have ridden the, these uh, electric unicycles with suspension so yeah basically i don't know what i'm talking about uh, but still it's a, it's, a, it's cheaper than the emotion v11 which is nice it's lighter it's actually like not heavier than a comparable electric unicycle with these parameters which is really cool and yeah i think now it's just uh, a time to wait uh, to wait uh, for these unicycles to test them out to see how they behave in the real in in real life because there there aren't so many clips uh, on the internet like with these electric unicycles uh, just going around the streets in real life so yeah we have to find out about that so yeah if you're still here leave a like on the video so subscribe to see more content like this i'll see you in the next video and also huge thanks to my dear patreons uh, gxn and bosmanati See you soon.